So I'm Michele Catasta and I'm enrolling the EDIC program. Uh, we are just starting. It's a very new field, even though it sounds like uh, it's very old because it started 50 years ago. You know, compared to mathematics and physics, we are very young. So there's a lot to do. This is something that struck me since the very beginning because I was coming from a research institute very much dedicated on a single topic. And as soon as I arrived here, I realized that uh, it's true I'm surrounded by people working on computer science, but if I walk 100 meters, I will meet electronic people or people working on life science or neuroscientists. And that's also a kind of collaboration that I, I began to do a couple of years ago. I like to call my thesis memory-based information systems. This will be the, the title. And what I'm focusing on is understanding how uh, human memories can influence the way in which design information systems. The amount of information that we are, we are exposed to daily is becoming more and more overwhelming. Uh, one way to filter that information is letting companies decide what we can see and what we should not see. I do think that is also very interesting to understand uh, what kind of information we should show to people just because they're gonna remember it and basically tend to hide whatever is going to be forgotten you know, in a matter of a few seconds. So I don't only do um, purely theoretical research, but I also like to spend a lot of time coding and seeing that if I can write software that actually backs my hypothesis. So I already built at least three or four of these prototypes that are uh, getting uh, a lot of interest. So one of them, for example, is a mobile application that I've been building in a joint effort together with Samsung Research. And we do try to build a smart diary. It automatically generates. And that takes a lot of effort, both in terms of implementation, because it's a quite complicated application. It also takes a lot of effort in devising algorithms to make the application smart. Uh, another one is uh, I devise a platform as a social game running on Facebook, which from the outside doesn't look at all like a user study. It's a very funny game that you can play daily with your friends, but at the same time, uh, it's going to help us to get insights on uh, what people remember on social networks. This is, um, let's say, a lateral approach that I took and I learned that uh, sometimes you don't have to run a very formal user study to get the results you're looking for. You need to think a bit in a different way, you need to be creative basically. I would say my PhD is more an exploratory one. Uh, every day is a completely new day, you don't know what you're gonna face, the kind of problems you're gonna face, so it's very exciting. And this is the reason why every day I wake up and I'm very happy to, to work on my PhD, it's, it's unpredictable. <laughs>